What's up, guys? It's Machete Panda, and I am back with more Farming Simulator. So, while we were gone, I made a lot of adjustments. Uh, well, not a lot of adjustments. I made a lot of purchases, and I made a lot of headway. So, if you take a look out here, you can see I've moved forward quite a bit. Um, I also bought some new equipment. <clears throat> um, so, we still have this little guy um, who was at our last logging camp. And I'm just going to bring them over here. This little guy's been working out fine for us. But I also bought this truck. Uh, I had this truck. I bought, you guys saw that I had this trailer. Um, I bought this guy right here. So there was another one of these on the map that we did not own. But I parked it up by the sawmill. Because I felt like I needed it there. And then as I started having more production with more businesses, I realized I probably really need one with me all, at all times. And maybe even I'll get rid of it off of the, this truck and leave it on the uh, at, at some of the businesses here. But right now, our little forklift is on the back of the truck, so we can easily uh, move around, <clears throat> move uh, objects around. Um, we've done a lot of work over at the roller coaster. Let's go over there now. Uh, well, before I go over there, I'll show you what else I purchased. I purchased this. So this long 20-meter uh, trailer is a mod. And I'm going to show you where that mod is right now. If you go to your forestry equipment, the mod is... Did I went too far? Right here. <clears throat> this has something called autoload. So um, autoload is very cheaty in my mind. Uh, but this is a 20-foot ch trailer. It's really cool. And I'm fine with auto load if you also purchase the components required to load the trailers. So if you have auto load and you want to load on um, trees and things, I think you should have a, a front-end loader or something to load those trees on. So you need to make that purchase, that commitment, in my mind, in order for this to not be cheaty. Because the the... The time benefit, the, the benefit is the time savings, um, which in itself isn't cheaty. This is a game. It's a simulator, but it's also a game. What's cheaty is that you're not purchasing the other pieces of equipment required in order to load the trees. So that's that's uh, that's what I'm using here. This with auto loader. I started using the auto loader. Oh my god, it makes life so much easier. Um, so much easier. Uh, it's it's. Such a pain in the neck. If I was doing a time challenge, obviously it would negate that. I also pot purchased this truck right here. Pretty nice looking truck. And uh, let me show you where it's located. It's another mod. And it is located down here. It's these trucks right here. So I think I purchased the CMS, this one right here. So I did the CMS. I did the engine upgrade. So we got 1582 for horsepower. Um, this one turned out to be useless. I don't know. I don't understand how it works, I guess, because um, there's no hitch on the back or anything. So, But this, this guy's the guy that I, that I picked up. Um, works out great. I customized it so it was our uh, forest green color, um, so I enjoy that. Uh, then here's our little front end loader, and, of course, we still have this guy right here, which we may be upgrading someday soon, but not too soon, because if we go to our roller coaster... And you look down in the bottom right here, which is, if I look over here, it'll look like I'm looking in the bottom right from your cameras. So, <laughs> uh, we've, got, we've got to get metal and staircase railings. So we have staircase railings, you know, right, wait, maybe I fed them all? I think I fed all the staircase railings. Yeah, we need more staircase railings. So, we're working on staircase railings. These are a bunch of extra I overproduced. But I figure we're going to need it for the next stages of this thing. So if we look at the next stages of this roller coaster, right? We still have uh, wood beams and boards and step five, um, planks, metal, floor tiles, prefab walls. So I overproduced. So, so I have a bunch of stuff already. Um, and a lot of it repeats in stages five and stage steps six through 11. So I figure I'm good there um, for a while. So 
I figured I, I wouldn't sell these. I'd keep them. I may have to start selling stuff, though, because we need money. We need a lot of money, or else we're going to be really in a tight spot. Because guess what one of the items is? If I stand over here, look in the lower corner, it says metal. We got to get the ironworks going. So if we head over to the ironworks here, we don't own this equipment right here. But if we head over to the ironworks, we can see it is full. Um, I loaded as much as I could because I just felt like this is way, because it's not going to get any fuller than this. This is as full as it's going to get. So it looks like more stuff is coming out, but it's actually just zeroing out. So we got that. And then, of course, we have a big pile. Um, <clears throat> we need to move this pile into a dump truck. I would like to get a front end loader and a, um, a dump truck so that I can load all this stuff in and I can quickly move it to the next piece of equipment that we need, which is over in production. It is right here, the iron furnace. This is the next component we need, the iron furnace. So <clears throat> that's $180,000. Um, I don't know where to put it either. Uh, I was thinking about buying this land and then just putting it like over here. So there's like a nice little clear area over here. They're just dropping it down right here or something, you know? Because um, honestly, this is all going to have to be moved to the iron furnace before it gets moved out somewhere else. Um, and the big issue is the cost. There's so much cost involved in, the, in our next step. So... Uh, so if we were to buy this land and stick the iron furnace right next to it, you know, that's a quarter of a million dollars, basically. Um, we could sell, we're almost done doing this. So we could sell this, we could get some money from selling that. I want to plant this first. Uh, but we need a lot more money. We need a quarter of a million plus, uh, Quarter of a million plus uh, 180,000 to get the iron furnace going. That's the next step. So, excuse me while we get busy with earning some more money. And that's going to start with going to bed tonight. Uh, remember, every night in this game is a month, it takes you through the month. So, we're going to go back to our little house here. And we're going to go to bed. And uh, yeah, we'll do a little bit of work, earn a little bit of money, and I'll catch you guys on the other side. So I've got a lot of lumber cut here. And um, I just want to show you how the auto loader works. So we're going to head over to the auto loader right here. And um, yeah, I've got a nice pile of lumber here. I pulled this pile over with the uh, tree feller. And tree, tree fell thrasher, excuse me, this is the name of it. Um, but yeah, you can turn on which side it's going to load to and from. And then I'm just going to turn the auto loader on so you can see what it does. And that's what happens right there. So I turn it off. I'm going to back up to my next pile of logs. Stop. Load these logs on. Turn it off. So yeah, that's, that's basically what it does. Um, I'm going to go through, keep uh, loading these up. And then we're going to take them over to the sawmill and I'm going to show you what's going on over there.
guys, we are back. Um, yeah, so the other side of the auto loader is that it unloads. I don't have any equipment here because I like to imagine that the the sides, these the bars on the side just drop down and unfills everything. But before we unload here, you may have also noticed that I turn on and off the straps from time to time. For whatever reason, the physics get a little weird with the straps on after you're driving for a while. So just keep turning them on and off to re-correct the physics. Um, it starts pulling the trailer to the side when it shouldn't. Um, so I turn the straps on and then off and it just kind of fixes it. Um, but yeah, it does some weird things. So just turning it on and off your straps will, will fix that. And that happens with the stuff that Giant Software also put out, um, which is weird. But yeah, so I also wanted to show you over here at the sawmill that I built another sawmill. So this sawmill, um, I forget if it comes with or is a mod. Uh, yeah, it's a mod. So this is a, I, I downloaded a sawmill mod um, just to have some more production um, on this property. Found a spot where it would fit. So it happens to fit here. Uh, and right now it's just producing long planks, I believe. And I believe that's all it can produce is long planks. Let me just go in here and take a look at the menu here. Open production menu. Um, yeah, so it just produces long planks and it is full right now. Um, we're going to drop some of our wood off at the, uh, the sawmill. So the sawmill is full up and it's producing long planks, but I also have it producing a uh, prefab should be producing free prefab walls. Okay. It is. It's producing beams and prefab walls. Great. So it's producing those as well. <clears throat> um, I got to empty this thing out and then, uh, Let's get back over to our truck and let's just empty this and turn off the, that and just start unloading. Oh, whoops, that's loading. Unload. And yeah, we'll just keep doing this cycle. Um, I'll keep taking this stuff. I'm probably going to start selling the stuff that we're creating right now, except for the staircases. I'll bring those over to the... To the uh, roller coaster we're just going to start selling stuff um because we need the money frankly <laughs> um so yeah i'm just going to keep doing this cycle uh i think the next step i think we're almost done uh with that with that other area that we're clearing out I think there's a couple more trees but for the most part we're we're done and um we can get busy with everything else so Next up, we're going to collect the stairs. We're going to bring those over to the um, roller coaster. And then we'll also collect some of the stuff at the little, at the new sawmill I built. You can see I have a pile of stuff piling up there. Um, and uh, we'll also sell that because there's just so much of it. Um, so, yeah, stay tuned. Hey guys, so I don't know why uh, we still have a bunch of staircase railings that it needs to take, but for whatever reason, didn't take them all, and there's still room for more. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna unload these, and um, we'll, uh, we'll oh, we gotta lower the ramp there, um, and we'll be back. I'm gonna do some more selling. 
And uh, I'll pull you in here and there in various spots. But uh, yeah, enjoy the music. Like and subscribe. Let me know what you think about the music. Um, we'll do a quick uh, fast forward. Yeah, <laughs> that's why, yeah, this thing almost flipped over upside down. This is why I think super strength is an important part of the game. Um, that is so unfair that the physics just did that to me. But um, whatever, <laughs> they obviously have some physics issues. I wish they would use Unity, um, you know, for, for the game. Like a Unity engine or something like that, especially with Unity solving a lot of the like issues with trees and stuff like that i don't know if you've seen the recent unity 5.1 videos that came out but um yeah they they made their own engine so this is actually their own engine that they've made uh that we're working in so it's not like an off-the-shelf engine um so unfortunately they're kind of married to this engine unless they actually decide you know what we can get a lot more benefits and ha improve player experience exponentially if we just use an off-the-shelf engine and we concentrate on other things and we're not concentrating on things like physics and stuff like that you know and we're trying to trying to patchwork ways to get around our physics engine <laughs> and not really solving the physics engine anyway um yeah so i'm gonna stack these uh then we'll sell and um, I'll be back. Right, guys um, I made a big mistake so all of the product that we've been collecting uh, I've been loading on this trailer thinking I'm gonna go sell it somewhere in town um, I <laughs> all the businesses you could sell this to well not all of them but almost all of them you could sell this to and our best uh, option to sell is actually this is a great mod uh, you guys have seen in my previous episodes time-saving stock check mod um but all the best sell points are in elm creek so i literally loaded a bunch of product onto this truck that um i brought right at the onloading po point for um elm creek that i'm probably gonna have to now sell uh unfortunately so um yeah that that stinks uh but it is what it is so i gotta take this truck over to the loading point rent the trailer and we're gonna load up or the train and and we're gonna load up the train so i'll see you there
All right, guys. We've got this thing loaded, fully loaded. Um, let's just make sure that's latched. These are all, this doesn't look latched. Are these, oh, they are latched. That was weird. Um, so I just went through and I checked all of my other factories. Um, this guy's still producing uh, stair railings. He has a bunch of stair railings. I don't want to load those. Uh, I'm going to use them for the roller coaster. Um, this guy's completely empty and our new sawmill is completely empty. Um, so we should be good to go. So I'm gonna go over to the train and I'm just gonna look real quick, make sure that all those cars are, or all the, the product is latched. And we're gonna sell this and we're gonna see we're at 139,000. We have a lot of product on this train, a lot. So I'm really hoping that we're gonna get a lot. So let's find out what we're going to get. This should be interesting. Oh, look at that money. Oh, we have a good chunk of money. Ah, that is fantastic, guys. That is so fantastic. All right. So what we're going to do is we are going to replant this forest right here. All right, what's this? We have a pallet fork sitting around. All right, we're gonna sell that pallet fork too. And we're gonna replant that forest. We're gonna buy all of this, then we're gonna sell. We're gonna sell all this. We're gonna buy this land. We're gonna drop in our, our uh, refinery, um, iron refinery, smelter. Um, and yeah, we're gonna lease some equipment to do all this replant this by here and build the smelter and that should be the end of this episode uh once we've got all that in place then we can start making deliveries of these things so all right we'll uh fast forward i'll talk you through some of the buy decisions i make and um in here and yeah i'll see you on the other side